Garland police say they are looking to connect a suspected drug dealer with more fentanyl overdoses in the city. He was arrested last week after three teens were found unresponsive at Firewheel Town Center. Fox Horse David Centendry live at the Dallas County Jail. David. Yeah, Eric Santos is allegedly responsible for supplying fentanyl to three teenage girls who all overdosed. Those girls survived their overdoses, but Garland Police Department is now trying to figure out if he's also the dealer responsible for supplying fentanyl to another teenage girl, but this teenage girl we're talking about unfortunately died from her overdose. 19-year-old Eric Santos is in the Dallas County Jail for allegedly supplying fentanyl pills which led to three teenage girls overdosing in Garland on August 1st. We're not thinking this is the first time that Eric's been involved in something like this, so we're trying to connect all these dots. The Garland Police Department now believes Santos might be responsible for the overdose death of a teen girl back in July. If that is the case, then we will be filing an additional charge. The three girls who overdosed and survived met Santos at Firewheel Mall that Tuesday afternoon, according to an arrest affidavit. Santos allegedly gave them pills and did not take anything in return. Two of the girls went inside TGI Fridays, took the drugs, and overdosed. Two young females in a stall, in a bathroom stall, are completely unresponsive. One was 16, one was 17. Beforehand, the third girl went to a movie next door at AMC with Santos, according to the affidavit. She overdosed in a theater and Santos carried her out, but left before investigators arrived. The young man that she was with says, hey, I got to go. I just met her a couple of months ago. I'm on probation or something to the effect, and he took off. Investigators tracked Santos down after interviewing the overdose victims. Santos was using this Instagram account to sell blue M30 fentanyl pills, according to the affidavit. You can see a circular blue emoji with an M in the middle on the Instagram bio. Please, please stay away from taking anything that's an M30 or a perk or anything that you're buying out on the streets. This is not safe. For now, investigators will work to confirm if additional overdoses are connected to Santos and who's been supplying him. You're right. You know, there's always somebody over you. There's somebody else that's bigger. At least two of those three girls who overdosed and survived were administered Narcan, according to that arrest warrant affidavit. Now, I want to point out that Santos is here in the Dallas County Jail. Bond is set at $450,000. That is $150,000 for each of those girls he's accused of providing fentanyl to who overdosed.